day one with the more shadows. Just uh, acclimated these guys and was able to put them in the tank. Um, since I read up on a couple of forums and heard a few people's YouTube saying, you know, don't quarantine them and uh, they're real sensitive to picking up it. So I just wanted to just acclimate them and get them into the display tank, try to cause less stress as possible. Um, the guy that I purchased them from informed that they were eating frozen food. I was able to get them to eat some frozen food while I was acclimating them. So um pretty happy about that. Just gonna try to get them on a new life spectrum now. But um they look like they're they're pretty happy so far. So day one. Let's see. Um, I know a lot of people say they haven't been very successful with uh, keeping them, so I wanted to try my luck and test it out, see if I could hopefully keep these guys successfully. So, uh, yeah, Reef TV, day one. How's it going, everyone? Um, day two with my more shadows. They seem to be doing okay so far. Uh, I noticed a lot of grazing on my live rocks. Um, yeah, just hoping, you know, they could find a few things on the live rock. I read their diet. Um, everyone advised that they love sponges, so. Hopefully it's some sponges in my tank that they can graze on for now. I'm trying to get them to the point where their uh, appetite is okay with New Life Spectrum. And um, I have some algae on uh, some rocks and a few clips. Hopefully they'll start uh, getting a taste for algae and um, I don't know, pellets. I'm going to try feeding them um, some oysters probably a little later on and uh, some, um, I have some brine shrimp and some mysis, so um, that's not a problem. They're eating frozen food, so that's okay, but um, I'm really trying to get them on uh, pellets. Everyone advised that, you know, it, they, they have a great survival rate if uh, I can get them on a good, good pellet source, so... Day two, everyone's looking okay. They're um, grazing, so hopefully they still, uh, you know, make it. 